Any last words? No. Was it not Monsieur Lafayette who seeked an end to that fool's life himself? The same Monsieur that is conveniently missing? Hey, somebody's sneaking up on us. Is it the red goat? Yeah, I recognize him. Why did he send you? He sent us to spy on you. What for? He didn't tell us. He just told us to spy on you. That's all? Yeah. If he sends you back, I'm coming after him. I'll deal with you, too. Arthur doesn't take kindly to threats. This ain't no threat, son. So you don't know me, uh, but I'm an old friend of Ron's. Is he in? Oh, uh, no, he's in town. He's in St. John delivering wood to a client. Uh, okay. Um, so I traveled a long way to get here. Mm. Uh, will he be back soon? Probably before sundown. Maybe in four hours. Can you come back in four or five hours? Do you mind if I wait? It's pretty, pretty important. Uh, sure. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, sure is a shame Ron's not around today. Uh, you said a couple hours or so. Do you mind if I hang around for a bit? Oh, that's perfectly fine. He's just cutting wood for a client over in St. Genevieve. Okay. Well, we do have some business to discuss. Oh, what sort of business? Well, uh, I would say it's business amongst men. His business is my business. What do you mean? I, I, I've heard that Ron has met a couple of my associates uh, last week in Old Mines, so I would just like to discuss what took place there. Ah. Well, he'll be back in a few hours. Have uh, a drink. Uh, thank you. I, I certainly will. Uh, would you like to have some yourself? Have a seat with me? Oh, no. I only use this for baking. You know, I, I work at the tavern in town. She gives me some extra at the end of the week. It's part of my salary. I just use it for cooking, but I don't drink. I see, I see. Well, um, I can tell you're a very saintly lady. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Please drink up. Yeah. Well, I'm terribly sorry if I'm interfering with your chores today. Oh, no, don't worry. Friend of Ron is a friend of mine. Well, I, I appreciate that. Um, Hope he comes back soon. Yeah, man, me as well. I, I see you obviously have eggs and, and you had some chickens roaming around outside. Do <laughs> um, you guys have some money? Oh, well, those are new chickens. Yes, we got them last week. I mean, we live within our means. We don't have that much money. Interesting. We're Interesting. lucky to have found this establishment here, this, this cabin. We've added on to it. We got reduced rent. From the landlord. I heard Ron was telling me that we have a new landlord though and he's trying to raise the rent. But uh, we're just trying to live within our means here. Well, uh, as I said before, it certainly is a, a beautiful establishment. Um, I noticed you don't have a wedding ring on. Uh, well, Ron and I were hand fasted. We're not legally married yet. Uh, interesting. Interesting to know. I'm sorry if I'm getting too much into your business. Please don't tell anyone in town that I said that. I don't want it to get out that we're not married by a preacher. Hmm. Oh, you finished your wine? Uh, I have, yes ma'am. Would you like some more? No, please, please, no. I, I really need to keep my senses. Oh, uh, but I have the good stuff. We have a bottle of brandy. I, I really probably shouldn't. Oh, okay. One more cup. That's uh, all. Uh, but 
Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. I mean, I, I'd certainly appreciate it, but I do insist I, I really don't need any. Oh, you plastic. need this. This is good stuff right here. Well, I certainly appreciate the, uh, the hospitality. Oh, you're most welcome. Could you get that pewter candlestick holder up there? I need to polish it while you're drinking. Uh, sure. Yes, yes, ma'am. Strong. That's imported. It's from Italy. I've I know a little bit about imports. Uh, I've never had anything this strong. I think. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that is that is potent. That is very very delicious. Thank you. Oh, you're most welcome. Then there's more where that came uh, from. You uh, finish that. I, I will continue continue on, but I, I really need to keep <laughs> a straight head here for when Ron gets back. What is those chickens? Where am what? How do you know Ron? Uh, why are why are my boots? What am I, what'd you do with my boots? I filled them with chicken feet. It's only a matter of time before the chickens smell. They smell you. They catch on. They'll peck you to death. How do you know Ron? How do you know Lafayette? Lafayette. How do you know Lafayette? I ain't talking unless I'm untied. How do you know Lafayette? How do you know Lafayette? Who are you? Did you drug my drink? That that wasn't a fancy import, was it? No, it that, was not. I learned it from a book. I'm actually quite impressed. You fit mm -hmm. right in with us. Who's us? Uh, me and my boys. Who are you? I'm not answering unless you let me go. What do you know about Lafayette? Look, I told you already, we're in circles here. It's, it's funny, because I was going to ask you the same thing. What do you know about Lafayette Who and where, where, where is Lafayette? Oh, he's around. Around? How do you know Lafayette? I, where is, oh, what is, stop, ow, go, ow, stop. All right, all right, I'll answer, stop, just stop hitting me. I have a hot frying pan there, you want You that? don't have to get that, no, yeah, the, the spoon is the, plenty. My That's, wooden I will, shoe. No, that is, no, the wooden spoon, just don't hit me again, please. I will answer what you need. Okay. Let's have a talk. What do you want from Lafayette and what do you want from me? Please, please don't. Why do you what need you... Lafayette? Look, I need to know where he is at. My name is really Arthur. I'm a leader of what people like to call us river rats. Oh, I knew I, it. I, I, I knew it. I just need to know where Lafayette is at. That's what I need to Why know. Why do you need to know where Lafayette is at? He has some information that I need. Some information? Y yes, it, 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 yes, ma'am. It doesn't really concern you. It's, it's, I would say it's amongst men. Amongst men, huh? I, ah, it's, it's stop, okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop, that's enough, that's enough. Speak, what information? So, so why should I tell you? 
Because depending on what it is, I might be able to help you. Well... Honestly, honestly, I was the last one that saw off yet. All right, so you do know. So where's the treasure? I know you know where the treasure's at. Treasure? If you talk to him, you know. Where's it at? Lafayette's no treasure. What are you talking uh, not about? Not Lafayette, the actual treasure. Blackbeard's treasure. What? What treasure? The treasure. Blackbeard's treasure. Blackbeard? Yeah, the last that I talked to Lafayette, he said he knew where Blackbeard's treasure was at. Coincidentally, all of a sudden he disappears. You were the last one to talk to him. So I bet you know where the treasure's at. No, I don't know where the treasure's at. What treasure are you even talking about? All right, look, the, the treasure is not important to you. I just need to know where is it. Why didn't you ask Lafayette when you knew him? Do you think I... Of course I asked him, but he wouldn't tell me. He just said he wanted to show me in person. Uh, quite frankly, he probably thought I was going to double cross him and kill him, which I was planning on doing. But you were the last one to speak with him. I just need to know where he is. Why should I help you? I should just feed you to my chicken. Uh, look, what do you want? Let's let's work out something here. What do you want? I know who you are. I want reduced rent. <sighs> All right, uh, six dollars. Six dollars? You insane? I, I, look, I, that's more than fair. five. Five dollars a month. I, stop. Okay, four, four, four dollars a month. Four dollars. How dare you? Ah, two, two dollars a month. Two dollars a month. I can't go any lower than two dollars. That's that's oh, yes, the best. You can. I, no, no, that's the best I can. All right, one, one dollar a month. One dollar a month for your rent. That's the deal. That's the best I can do. We have a All right, deal. we got a deal. All right, please untie me now. Can I please go? You better not try anything if I untie you, because if I get hurt, you'll never find Lafayette and this weird treasure you're talking about. What is uh, it, like $10? I, I'm, I can't tell you, because I don't know, but I won't try anything. Look, you got the weapon. I am, I am unarmed. Just let me go. I'll get my stuff, and I will, will leave you guys in peace. I'll help you find Lafayette, but you have to give me time. In the meantime, one dollar rent. And you better not try anything funny. Don't make me upset or you will never find him. I, and stop following us. Deal. You got your guy you just got yourself a deal. I'll get my knife and I'll untie you. Thank you. Um, you remember Lafayette? Why do you say his name? You think there might be a possibility that he's still alive? Shouldn't be. He put a bullet right in his head, and we tossed him in the river. Well, you were tossed in the river, and look at you, you're still here. They didn't shoot me. He's dead. Where'd that dagger come from? No, oh, what dagger? That dagger right there. Where'd that come from? Uh. I've seen that dagger before. Where have you seen it? Where did the dagger come from? Okay, someone stopped by earlier today, and we may or may not have had a conversation, but I had some good news. We only have one dollar a month rent. One dollar a month rent? You're welcome. You can thank me anytime. Was Arthur here? Mm. Oh, yeah, that was his name. Why was Arthur here? Um. Uh, well, he was asking me about Did he Lafayette. Touch you? <laughs> no. No, he didn't touch me. I sure touched him. What did he? What do you mean you touched him? Oh, nothing like that. I just tied him to a tree and. You tied Arthur to a tree. We got one dollar a month rent now, Ron. How? He was asking me about Lafayette. He came here to ask me about Lafayette. That's why I'm wondering: is he still alive? What did he want to know about Lafayette? He said something about Lafayette knows where a treasure is. A treasure? Yeah, it's probably ten dollars or something like that. I can't believe this. Have you ever heard Blackbeard? 
I've never heard of that the, name before. The pirate? Blackbeard. He said he's looking for Blackbeard's treasure, and he said that Lafayette knew where it was. This and sounds like one of Arthur's schemes. I can't believe he bought into this. He, well, one dollar a month rent. Well, what did you give him to get one dollar rent? You had to give him something. You didn't give him our savings, did you? No. No, I didn't even touch it. I told him I was going to help him to find Lafayette. Which, now that I think about it, was pretty stupid, wasn't it? Considering that he's dead and all. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> when he know. finds out he's dead and you've double-crossed Arthur, he will double-cross you. And me. No, but because as long as he thinks that I know where he's at, he won't hurt me. Or you. Oh. He won't hurt you either because if he hurts you, <laughs> I will not give oh, him boy. the information. You don't have any information. There is no treasure. So there is no Lafayette. He's dead. When you were alone with Lafayette in the parlor of the Stevenson house, did he tell you anything? Did he mention anything no, about all, treasure, all, money? Because that's what I was casting All that on. Uncle Soul mentioned was, oh, and I'm going to build a big house, and I have four bedrooms and many soft beds, and that's all that idiot talked about. He didn't say anything about a no, guy named nothing, Blackbeard? Nothing about no Blackbeard. Blackbeard's been dead for over a hundred years and he's just a legend. Who's Blackbeard? He's a pirate from the Caribbean. We are so far from there. That's hundreds and hundreds of miles away. Why would a pirate on the ocean come all the way up to here? You know, now that I do think about it, I think I remember reading in a book that there are rumors that a pirate buried, or maybe not buried, but he abandoned his boat in this area in the early mm -hmm. 18th century. And the boat got washed up in the Mississippi River, and, it's and it's thought that it is in this township? It's a legend. So that was Blackbeard. That was Blackbeard's legend, but it's not real. So but that means Blackbeard did actually come up the Mississippi River then? Yes. So he was but, in America? Well, I guess so. I've lost my appetite. It's, I can't believe you made a deal with the devil, basically. You think it's more than $10 in that treasure? If it were real, which I highly doubt it, Arthur's up to something. He's using this as a cover to be up to something. I got us one dollar a month rent. You should be thanking me right now. You're I'm, welcome. I'm worried about what the trade-off was. And I also got us a dagger. Mm. I did lose some chicken feet, though. I don't even want to know how you lost chicken well, feet. So... But maybe there really is treasure in this area. So you gotta do treasure hunting. He really didn't say anything to Lafayette about what how he got his money to build this house with four rooms. What make no, he didn't. What makes you think Arthur's not gonna slit your throat as soon as you lead him to a treasure, or if he don't find the treasure, what do you think he's gonna do then? Well, I'll try to drag him along the long as I possibly can until we figure this out. And I have to work with them too, I, I would assume, since my wagon sits to yours, and I cannot trust him alone with you. I mean, look, either it was I dragged this out for another few months or so, or he was probably going to come here and kill us anyway because you're refusing to pay the rent that he wants you to pay. So at least I bought us an extra few months. I refuse to pay the rent he wants me to pay. You're, you're not going to pay it anymore. One dollar a month. I don't like this deal. Maybe there is some truth to that legend then. I, I read that in a book. Now that I know it's Blackbeard, there are a good amount of people that really think in the early 18th century he abandoned a boat in this area and it washed up around, uh, somewhere around the Mississippi River. Where exactly, I don't know because nobody knows. And maybe that's his problem, but maybe it's real. Fair hope and pray it's real. And have a plan for when we do find it, if we find it, because Arthur will be ready. To do something with us. I, just, I gotta think. I gotta think about everything that Lafayette ever said to me. I gotta analyze it in my head. I know his house is by here. Where exactly it was, I don't know. It's 50 miles north. He was in St. Louis. Hmm. That's not nowhere near. Imagine if we were rich, Ron. Imagine if we did find it. Imagine if it was $20. If we do find it, we have to give it to Arthur and hope he doesn't kill us. If we were that rich, we could probably get a boat and go down to New Orleans. 
buy a big old house down there. This soup has no meat in it. We could have soup with meat in it every single night if we were rich. I bought us a few extra months. If it wasn't for that, he'd probably torch this house down because you're not agreeing to pay his rent. What, was it, what are we supposed to do? Murder him? Lafayette style? There's a time and a place for everything. He has too many followers. We can't get away with it. That's what I'm worried about. I can handle Arthur alone, but him and his goons, I can't. You just have to wait and see. I bought yeah. us some time. I can't believe this. There's nothing I can do now but prepare ourselves. I need some time to think. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking. What if the treasure is real? <laughs> he sounded very confident in himself when he came here. Why would he have gone through all this trouble if it wasn't real? Maybe it's ten, twenty dollars. That's a year's rent. Well, if our rent was two dollars a month at the year's rent, but What do you think? I don't know what to think. It would be I, nice to be rich. It would. We get away from here. Yes. All I can say is you better hope and pray that it's real. And that we have the upper hand. And that on, we find it. Yeah. Thank you for getting it down to one dollar though. Oh, you're welcome. Finally, I've been waiting for... But it is you say very you? dangerous what you did. Hmm. I wish I was rich. Like the Stevensons were. Before they went into debt, of course. That changed them. I don't want to change if we're rich. But think of all the cake. Well, that's nice, but I don't want to become snooty and snotty like the Stevens. No, sense. I would never. I'm just happy to be with you in this pretty little cabin that we've made our home. And I love you. I love you, too. Good night. I am tired of being poor, though. <laughs> Raising a barn. Hmm. Pudding. How are you this morning, oh, Pudding? Oh, Ronaldo, it's terrible. I could not sleep all night. This dress mm. I'm using for a blanket, it's too short. My feet were cold all night. Please get me a new dress I may sleep with. Yes, my love. Thank you. Oh, thank you, dear. Prepare my face paints. Yes, dear. Let me help you from your cinder. Thank you, my love. What would I do without you? Probably die. I agree. Darling, love, look what I've got for you. Oh. A magnificent pineapple. Oh, Ronaldo, that's the third one this week. I'm starting to grow tired of pineapples. Don't we have oranges? Yes. Thank you, dear. My complexion has never seen the light of the sun. My lily white skin. Oh, thank you. 
Oh, thank you so much, dear. Mm. Well, don't you remember when we were poor? It was just dreadful. Yes, this feels like a dream. It does feel like a dream. I never wish to wake up, my love. Now let me continue to paint my face. Yes. Oh. Darling love, you have a message. Oh, is it another invitation to a ball? I believe so. I can't keep going to these silly things. Oh, it's from the Middletons. It's certainly an invite to a ball. Oh, dear. Oh. Would you like to look at your jewels today? Oh, my box of fine jewels. Oh, you know, I already have enough jewels on. I sleep with pearls on, you see. Oh, but this is new. Ah, and oh. from <laughs> Versailles last week. Oh, thank you, my love. Thank you very kindly. Oh, I might wear this as a garter belt. But not today. Aww. What's for breakfast? Um, so do you like sweetened pound cake with crumpets and cream cake with cherries? Yes, my love. And Thank tea, you. of course. Oh, or would you prefer... Claret. Claret. Yes, claret. I always prefer claret over tea. I will prepare it right away. Oh, thank you. Oh, and also, while you are here, how is the progression of the building of our new house? Our new... Dwelling. Dwelling. Mm. Castle, whichever you prefer, huh. is near complete, darling. And how many windows does it have again? How many did you say? Thirty? Thirty-one. I will make a note. Thank and you. And Sir Marcus will uh, get that taken care of. Oh, thank you, Ronaldo. He, he's been great. Yes. He's the best designer. Thank you, Ronaldo. In Ronaldo's. the colonies here. Yes. He designed George Washington's house, in fact. I heard. Let me prepare your breakfast. Thank you, my love. Justine, it's mm. morning. I'm hungry. It's time to make some breakfast. What do we even have for breakfast? We got a half sack of flour still. How about some Johnny Cakes? I don't want Johnny Cakes, I want pound cake. Pound cake? Are you living in the dream world? We ain't got pound cake here. I'm gonna let the chickens out. You getting up? Yes. I just had a very good dream. <laughs>